talking about another aspect of framing. It might be a simple part, but it's also a critical part, and that's what we call the California corner. Now, we have this wall framed already, and what a California corner involves is basically two studs, okay? We have this stud here, which is sitting in the same position as the regular stud is here. But then attached to this regular stud, we have a second stud which creates this corner. So when it's all framed together, this is what it looks like. So this would be, layout would be the California corner symbol and DN for facing down. What I mean by down is that this part of the corner is facing the floor or facing, facing the deck. Now let's take a look what this looks like in a smaller scale. Okay, using these two pieces here, we're just gonna show in mock-up form what this California corner looks like when we have a through wall and intersecting wall. This being our through wall, we're gonna have a stud on the outside corner, and then the California corner part is assembled just like so. Now, the intersecting wall, it's just gonna have a single stud that will fit right here. Now, what that creates is this space right here, and that space now is gonna be used for the backing for when the drywaller installs a sheetrock on the wall here. He has somewhere to fasten it to. Yes, he has this stud to attach, but if I don't have that California corner in there, he has nothing to attach the drywall on this wall. So, by making this California corner, and again, when it's nailed together, will look like that. We now have a spot for the intersecting wall, stud to attach, and by attaching there, we now have this backing for the sheetrock. That's the whole purpose of the California corner, to create an area for the sheetrock installer to install his drywall. You need three studs to build a California corner. How many studs do we need for the corner, though? So just two, okay? Now, the reason we have three is it's gonna help me build the corner. So I have my three studs here. I lay this on top of here, and what this second stud's doing, it's just holding this from rolling over. If I try to build my corner just using two pieces, every time I let go, it falls down, okay? So I take three, stack them together, and grab here. Now start at this end, get your nails started, and make sure things match up perfect, and that you're perfectly flush here. It's, I just call it a feel, I look for it. Once I have that, Nail together. Now, I start working down my stud, okay? If I come down here and nail it, well, I might have a bow right here. See this difference here? Here's a perfect example. Okay, so down here, we're even. If I were to nail it here, now I have a problem in that my stud here doesn't match the edge. It has a bow to it. So if I match this end up here, nail it, and come down here and nail this end, chances are I'm going to get a mismatch in this area here. Okay. So now I'm going to come down here, about 12 inches, 16 inches, match, come down here, with my time, make sure it matches. Now notice here, okay? See what's happening at this end. Now, because I've been working out the board to make it straight, well, there's almost three-eighths of an inch difference. So I just keep working down. Now, one thing too, if you drive into a spike knot or into a knot, it's hard, okay? So avoid that, you know, move your nail up here. But you're taking your time we're flush all the way down. So my last thing when I get down here, this should be a perfect match. 
This should all be nice and even. Now my corner is built.